Hi, it's Gary, and in the next several videos, I want to start a fairly lengthy discussion on how a guitar's sound can be shaped during the construction of a soundboard assembly. And I thought a really good place to start is to describe for you how raw sets of wood are prepared for backs or tops. And so most of you probably know that tops, as well as backs, come in a set of two halves. And the reason is that they have to be joined because most logs are not wide enough to accommodate the size of a standard guitar. So using this scaled down version of a log, I want to use this to demonstrate the principles of, of log cutting. So you know that if you have a section of log like this, if you look end on, you'll see the annular rings, the concentric rings around a central axis. And if you continue those, those grain lines down one of the faces, you'll see vertical lines that are usually parallel to one another. Okay, so what producers do is they take this log and on a bandsaw, they'll start to cut successive pieces off of the log like this. And this is what is called book matching. And what's important in this type of cutting on the bandsaw is that they emanate from the center and they are radi radially cut. It's also known as quarter sawing. And the result with a sister set of adjacent slices is it's like bread coming off of the slice. And if you splay them in the middle, then they will be what's known as bookmatched. And they will have, if you look at it from end on, vertical grain. And that's exactly what you want for guitar building, at least for maximum stability. You want these lines to be perfectly vertical if you look at it from end on. And they'll have the lowest amount of expansion or contraction if you have changes in humidity. So they're very resistant to cracking. Okay, so if you have, let's say, a back set that you joined in the middle, if it was perfectly radially cut, you should see some various obvious symmetry around the central axis where they were joined. And in this case, this piece of Southeast Asian ebony is a spectacular example of this beautiful symmetry of the figure on either side. Over here on the other side of the workshop, I have all my book match sets of soundboards, spruce from North America and Europe. I have Western Red Cedar soundboards from Canada, and I have back sets from all over the world. And they're in the workshop for a purpose. That purpose is to equilibrate to the right humidity that I construct the guitars in. And another important consideration is that when I find sets that have the right material and acoustic properties, I want to buy as much of that material as possible, preferentially from the same log, so that now I'm starting with the highest uniformity possible at the very beginning of the construction process. Now before I leave you, I want to give you an example of a type of set that you want to avoid as a builder and a guitar buyer. It would be something that looks like this piece of Zeracote. Now you'll notice that on either end it has these white sections. That's sapwood. That's not what I'm talking about as far as defect. And the white sapwood is just the outside of the log, just underneath the bark. And that's fine to build with, but what I'm talking about is the grain figure. And if you'll notice the patterns, instead of the lines being perfectly vertical and exiting from end to end, they form these peninsulas, and in some cases, even these round circles. And these are things that are highly unstable because they're not radially sawn. They're actually coming off of the log 
not like this, but actually at oblique angles, which gives you this flat sawn type of figure that shows very wide spacing of the figure. And that's what this is. All right, so now you know something about how backs and tops are prepared in the raw form. When I see you on the next video, I'll start with a very basic discussion on my approach to how I build soundboard assemblies and how I start to shape the sound. And as we go into more and more videos, we'll get more and more specific. So I will see you on the next video.